So welcome to the Tracking of Time Services, also known as TOTS, Interactive Voice Response System. COVID-19 has made it necessary for LDOE to adjust the attendance tracking process for the Child Care Assistance Program. The attendance tracking processes should conform to the health and safety guidelines set forth by state and federal health authorities. Effective September 21st, LDOE will utilize an interactive voice response telephone system to record attendance for all child care types. This is a temporary measure that will be used until it's safe for all of us to return to using the TOTS machines. During the month of October, we'll begin September the 21st, and it will we'll go through the month of October. And during the month of October, we will gather information about the use of the IVR the, and provide guidance to providers and families who seem to be having difficulty uh, with the system. So effective November the 1st, all provider types will be required to use the IVR or the TOTS machine to record attendance for child care children. Providers who are currently allowing the use of the machine within the safety protocols may continue to do so. However, providers should not allow the use of both types of check-in and out processes. Household designees will check children in and out by calling the TOTS 188-281-1063. And this is a different number, is different than the help desk number. So this is strictly for attendance tracking and following the call flow listed on the tip card and we're gonna provide those. Designees would use the, their personal phone. Again, I'm stressing that they do not have to use the provider's phone, they can use their personal phone. And all transactions reflecting the dates and times of the transactions will be recorded in TOTS just as they are now. So you'll see every transaction just as you do now when they use the system. So to review the call flow just a little bit, and again, you're gonna get this information. Uh, the step one, they'll call into this 800 number. They'll select English or Spanish. And then step four, the 11 digit time and attendance number, they'll need to be sure and use the leading zero to make that 11 digits. So the, the client or the providers may have that information, but if they don't, we'll need to provide it. Also, the three-digit person of the household designee that's checking the child in and out. We will, may need to provide that and enter the child's two-digit child number. And the client usually is uh, familiar with what those numbers are. If the child currently has more than one authorized provider, some of them go to one place part of the day and one place the second half of the day, then uh, the IVR is gonna ask them to choose which provider they're checking their child in for. Then it will we'll ask them to choose one of the four options, that whether they're checking in for the current time or for a previous time. And then for each child that they check in and out, they'll repeat steps six through eight for each child. So just follow the prompts on the automated system. Okay, these are the uh, tip cards. This tip card, they, they all have the same information just in a different form. This one actually has a little wallet card at the bottom that the um, individuals can record the time and attendance number person number and the child's number if the case they want to keep that with them to have it handy. The second one is a one pager with all the same information that's in the PowerPoint and that's in the uh, call flow and this seems to be one that would be easy to uh, duplicate and make available to families and to provider. 